Okay, so hopefully this is a really quick video. Um, it's about Edge Impulse, setting it up on the Arduino IDE. Notice this is 1.8.13 um, on Windows. And it's slightly different than on the Mac and uh, uh, Linux because of this platform.local.txt. Um, that file is... Uh, it's on the Edge Impulse, but I also have my own on this site in my, my examples of Edge Impulse, Windows Arduino. There's the file, and what you have to do is you have to copy that file. Easiest ways to copy these files, well, probably download it, but um, I actually just go in and if I can see, why isn't it showing me raw? Let's go in there. That's why. And I should be able to see it. That's so weird. Oh, maybe my internet's not working. Okay, so let's move on. Um, the problem of uh, Edge Impulse totally simplifies machine learning. Uh, I got students, grade nines, making machine learning models. The, these things were really difficult a few years ago. Now it's completely simplified, and I've got a bunch of videos showing how to do it in Edge Impulse. Um, but a problem on Windows is Edge Impulse uses some really long uh, strings to load their, their files. Arduino is working on it. The next board, we are on board 1.3.0. Um, the next board probably has this solved, so this video is probably only useful for a few weeks, but let's get it anyway. Uh, the confusion is that if that's your username on Windows, you have to go into App Data, which is a hidden area. So you have to type App Data correctly, and let's just go through this. Um, so say I'm on Windows, um, I go to my username. So in users, there's Jeremy Ellis. And notice app data doesn't show up. So what I have to do here is I have to type slash app data. Windows isn't case sensitive, so who cares? And now it shows up. And now we go into, so this is where my apps are going to store data that's specific to me. So in the local area, there's Arduino 15. And in there, I think it's in packages. And in packages, there's my Arduino. And in hardware, there is embed. There's also um, SAMD. So embed and the version I've got. Now, if you have a higher version, 1.3.0, 1, 1 you might not have to do this. It might have been uh, solved. Um, so once I go in there, notice there is a platform. But you probably don't have a platform.local.txt, this file. And that's what you've got to get either. Probably best to get it off Edge Impulse. Um, and if you look in the forums, you know, Windows not working. Uh, this is probably the main problem is that um, this platform.local. And let's open it up. Uh, it's, it's not very long. All it's doing is it's grabbing your string of commands and putting it in its own file. And no, I did not program this, and I have no idea how it works. But it, 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 Windows doesn't work without it. So you've got to grab that platform.local file, put it right beside the platform file while well, it'll sort it. But that is a little bit confusing for beginners since everything else on Edge Impulse is reasonably simple to work with.